everybody, this is Lollipop Point One M L E here today and welcome to another episode of Lollipop Speed Art. And in this episode we are doing another acrylic painting and something that isn't fan art, something that isn't original characters. Actually this is more of a landscape sort of painting. One of my inspirations from Chloe Art on YouTube, she does a lot of uh, acrylic paintings on her channel. And they are amazing and she lists out the colors that she uses unlike a lot of other like people that do acrylic paintings on YouTube and they're usually never sp sped up except for like painting with Sheba that, and that's another YouTube channel that I follow that does paintings and what I'm doing here is that after I traced out the circle using my masking tape roll, I'm using said masking tape to um, cover the circle because that's where I'm going to be painting the moon in here. So here we go. Here are the colors that I'm going to be use that I'm using here. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, see that blue just splattered. <laughs> I'm almost out of that. And then I'm using light blue here. And again, I will put the actual colors right here in the corner just so you know what colors I use and because well uh, it would be easier for you guys to like tell which colors are they and I'm just um, blending them out with my little plastic spatula blending them across the paper the canvas and using more color to get it even and whatnot and then I'm using more Krulion blue here getting it all blended and it's okay if you get over the circle if you're doing like your own masking tape silhouette thing it's okay and I'm using uh, primary uh, blue and pileo blue and pileo oxy purple and now I'm using this big old giant paintbrush here and just blending all the colors out <laughs> like this paintbrush is way way too big for the canvas and yes, I made a mess. Don't at me. It's my it's my workspace. Anyways, after that, I, I actually had to add a little bit more light blue and use my normal size paintbrush and purple. Ignore that. Those are just my notifications. Anyways, after that, after I rinse that brush off, like I use a cup of water and whatnot, and next I go and... I added in some clouds in here and one of the techniques that I noticed is that they um you while the paint is still the background part is still wet put the white or like whatever light color you got and you create the clouds and you blend them in because you know like cloud that's what I generally see with a lot of the uh traditional artists that do a lot of acrylic paintings and whatnot and so that's what I did here, painting, painting it out, making it all look cool and whatnot, and even I can bring some of the color in from the other clouds to like add like some dimension, so to speak. And again, I don't do a lot of, like I said, I don't do a lot of like traditional art episodes that often anymore. I do a lot of digital, but when I do, plan on doing something traditional I actually have to plan on doing it that's the thing with me in traditional art episodes of lollipop speed art so I keep adding in like the highlights and whatnot to the clouds making it all look cool and again this is a night sky after all yes I know the night sky is in blue and purple it's usually like purple black but here it's more blue. It's more of a navy bluish tone, so to speak, with some purple and light blue. Because this is mostly like early, like, um, early evening, early night, whatnot, on a full moon. So I'm continuing doing those clouds here with my uh, regular, um, I gotta look at the paintbrushes here. Either it was the 10, the 10 round or the... Um, the uh, six round. <laughs> I don't know. I have the paintbrushes right in front of me as I'm doing this narration. And yes, I'm adding in the light blue again for more dimension and whatnot. Uh, yeah. 
it's tedious to say the least and yep more splatter of that blue and more blending and more blending and more blending so hurry up and uh, yeah it's take a while it takes a while it's tedious but it gets the job done I'm putting more white into it more highlights and whatnot. I'm trying to like think of things to say about what I did here. So if you guys are probably asking, blue moon, is there a blue moon? Now, you guys probably heard the phrase once in a blue moon, which usually means once in a while. So I'm using a pair of tweezers to, yeah, I got messy. What the heck? Who cares? So I'm trying to gently remove the masking tape from the circle now I gotta clear that space out. We're taking that tape off, ripping it off, and there we go. Oh yeah, it's a little messy, but we're going to be fixing that anyways with some more blues and purples. It's not gonna be perfect because um I didn't do the full background. So anyways, once in a blue moon is a phrase that is commonly heard all the time. It usually means once in a while. And blue moon there is no such thing as a blue moon. This is just an interpretation of a blue moon. Usually a blue moon is two full, well, hold on. It's two full moons in a month that happen in a month and it usually happens once in a while, hence once in a blue moon. And if you really want a color, a moon that's actually cover, colored, wait for a lunar eclipse because the lunar eclipse is blood moon and yeah I really do want to do another traditional art episode doing blood moon aka the lunar eclipse and actually just today as of this recording I did um black sun which was a solar eclipse painting now I'm adding in purple here and you see me do a lot of improvisation here. Um, I did this late at night, like around like 8, 8.30 or something like that. And I did not have sponges on me. Because a lot of the artists that I've seen on YouTube use like makeup sponges or whatever. Like, you know, one of those sponges that you get at the dollar store. And you can use them for makeup and whatnot. And right now I was trying to blend it out with my brush, my brushes here. And and then I actually switched to, um, you'll see in a bit, I switched to a cotton ball, to a couple cotton balls. And yeah, that's not traditional. You'll see it in a bit and whatnot. Blending it in, putting some blues in there. And you're, here we, we're almost getting to the end of this, by the way. So I'm adding in like the more shade. It looks like a planet here. It looks like Neptune at this point. Neptune or Uranus. More, mostly Neptune. Now I'm going in for that uh, uh, cotton ball here. Because of like how f fuzzy the cotton ball is. It gets all over the place. And now I had to like blend that in. Blend more of the blues. Like blues in. And I'm like I really need to find some sponges. Now I'm adding in some white here. And like blending it into the, some spots. Now it looks more like a crescent moon at this point. I added some more purple, add some more blue, primary blue, and whatnot. Uh, yeah. And then I went back in with a clean cotton ball and then I blended it out again. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Um, learn from me. Don't use a cotton ball. Well, I'll probably still use a cotton ball, but. That's the best option I have. And again, please ignore that. Those are my notifications. Here comes the cotton ball. Again, more fuzziness. And I'm adding in like a shine around it. The, the glow, the corona, whatever. Usually coronas are for sun. Are the sun and whatnot. So here we go. I'm blending that in to the moon. Blending it out as best as I could. Probably going to bring back that... um. Uh, the uh, cotton ball again. Yeah, um, it, it, we're still working at it. Adding in some more primary blue or paleo blue. I have different. There we go. Here we go with the cotton ball again. Yeah, yes, I used the cotton ball as a substitute for a sponge. 
This is what you call improvising. And now what we're going next is I'm going in with a toothbrush and voila, I'm adding in some stars in there. And I've seen a lot of traditional artists use a tooth, an old toothbrush to do stars and whatnot. Well, to make it seem like you got a galaxy there. And with me here, I'm going in with a smaller brush and I'm making more shines to the star. Some stars shine a little bit bigger. That's what I've seen. Like they're more like a um, rhombus slash diamond shape, so to speak. Because stars aren't completely star shape. And yeah, the sun is a star too. Now I'm adding in a little bit more detail to the moon here. And if you that would be it for this um we're almost done here and if you enjoyed this lollipop speed art episode please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell for notifications as i post videos like this lollipop sings and lollipop discusses every fridays and saturdays the final piece is up on my deviant art page at lollipop 81 mle and all my other social media links twitter instagram and reddit are also linked down in the description below and i will see you next time Peace, y'all.